Okay, so I don't know if you guys just heard that, but I was turning, the music stopped, and I don't know if you heard the computer, that doo -doo. yeah, yeah, that's because my foot hit the um, cord that the speakers are plugged into, so that was my bad. Anyway, good morning, everyone. All right, let's go ahead and scroll on up. Today's question of the day is, what is your favorite book slash movie slash TV show that includes dragons? Because look at coloring today, and actually, I was testing out something with her skin. We're gonna do something really cool that we haven't done before, on her skin, I had an idea, and I'm not, I'm gonna roll with it. Hoping, hoping Laura won't be horribly offended by the slight alterations I'm gonna make, but it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an adventure. All right, so let's start with chat first, then we'll talk about the book and any announcements we got and all the things. Brooke says, "Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Brooke. My favorite movie that includes dragons is probably the original Pete's Dragon from 1960s. Love the old Disney movies. My parents got to meet Mickey Rooney on a cruise." Oh, that's cool. And yes, I remember that one. That one was good. Let's see. Durbin says, animated movie, Flight of the Dragons, regular, regular movie, Reign of Fire. Now, I was watching chat and I saw a few of you mentioned that. You know what's funny? I actually just watched Reign of Fire for the first time like a couple weeks ago. I love Christian Bale. I, I'm not super thrilled. Like Matthew McConaughey as a character, his, his characters just always seem a little... I don't know, over the top, I suppose for the character. I just feel like I couldn't take him seriously as a tough guy. I think if that's the one we're thinking about, it's it's like the um, the kind of post-apocalyptic dragon kind of dealio, right? If that's the one I'm remembering. Anyway, yeah, Matthew McConaughey, McConaughey, McConaughey. The best movies I've loved him in have been like chick flick ones, not ones where I need to take him seriously as a tough guy. Uh, Dawn says, I'm with my book. I like her happiness color book. That's the name book. I've been, oh, very cool. Lisa, good morning. Favorite dragon movie is 2002 film, Rainbow Fire, Christian Bale, Matt, yep, Matthew McConaughey, Gerald Butler, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Let's see, Melissa, Leslie, good morning. Melissa says, Aragon book series, currently folding laundry, but I have a bunch of laundry to fold. Well, it's in the dryer. Actually, Steve folded a lot of the laundry yesterday, so I can't complain too much. Kara, good morning. Let's see, Cece, good morning. Kara says, How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. Okay, so I read the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy with the kids, and I really, really liked it. So we're like, okay, well, let's go watch the movie. Oh my gosh, like the movie. It's, the, it's got like a few same name characters, but they changed the whole kind of mood of the series, I felt like, with the movie. I mean, the kids still liked the movie, but it was, you know, in the book, it wasn't all about, ah, kill all the dragons and boy-girl feelings and all the thing. No, in the in the books, it was like, actually, I don't know, I wish they would have stuck closer to the books. Let's see, Stephanie says, I'm not sure if it counts. It's not strictly about dragons, but my favorite book slash movie that involves a dragon is The Hobbit. I read the book the first time when I was 10. No, that absolutely counts because the dragon by itself is like a main, a main character, like, Without the dragon, there would be no like plot twist at the end to try and get into the mountain. They'd be like, do, 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 we're going to the mountain. Da, 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 da. Hey, look, we're at the mountain. Oh, we got all the money. Okay, cool. End of story. <laughs> right, can the dragon makes the story? All right, Tina, good morning. Let's see, Leslie says, Dragons in Our Myth series by Brian Davis. Okay, so Leslie, I haven't heard about that, but I actually, when I saw it, I wrote it down because I want to check it out. I am always down for new book series. Uh, let's see, yeah, Child to Train the Dragon. Tina, good morning. Color Fab, good morning. I am doing well, how are you? Leslie says, oh yeah, Dragons at Our Mess book series. Let's see, Diane, Reign of Fire, all right. Let's see, Dominique, hello. Cheryl, good morning. Favorite TV show with dragons, Game of Thrones, favorite film, Reign of Fire. I am so, I didn't realize that Reign of Fire was so popular. I just stumbled across it and I was like, eh. I need something new to watch. This doesn't sound too bad. I had no idea that it was so popular. All right, good to know. Let's see, Bonnie, hello. Kelly, hello. 
Game of Thrones, never end a story. Falcor, is Falcor considered a dragon? I don't know. All I know is that, what, what, what was the, Atreyu was the boy, right? Or was that the horse? I don't know. The scene with the horse in the mud, I think like every child who saw that movie just broke their heart. <laughs> Let's see, CC says, my favorite movies of dragons are The Hobbit. To me, Smog is the best real dragon I've ever seen in a movie. The other is the trilogy of How to Train Your Dragon. See, we got we got some regular some regular themes here. I like it. Let's see, hop down. Hang on, hang on. There we go. All right. Um, sh -sh -sh -sh. Let's see, everyone in chat. My favorite dragon film was a foreign film. I can't remember the name. Well, if you remember, Valerie, please let me know because I am curious. Let's see, Michelle says, my favorite book that includes a dragon is Puff the Magic Dragon. Peeps dragging out, Puff, I was like, Puff the Magic Dragon lives by the sea. Something, 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 something in a land called something. <laughs> I'm bad at remembering the words. Let's see, Sheila, Diane, hello. Let's see, Dominic Falcor. Everyone should have a luck dragon, right? That's right, he was a luck dragon. That's right. Harry Potter, Harry Potter's yet. Yeah, there's a dragon in there, you're good. Mona, hello. The three Hobbit movies, yep, there's Smaug. All right, let's see. B, hello. Let's see. Yeah, Pete's dragon. I'm gonna have that Puff the Magic Dragon song stuck in my head. Cheryl, hello. Marilyn, hello. Tina says, oh, the never ending story. Yep, the never ending story. Let's see, Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. Okay, I haven't seen House of the Dragon yet. Is it done? Is it all finished on HBO? Because I've been waiting so I can binge watch it. I just honestly didn't think about it. And hi, Yana. Let's see, Dermot Smog is one of my favorite dragons, right? He's a good dragon. Well, I mean, he's not a good dragon, but he's a good dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Mandolin says, How to Train Dragon Films. My dad and I went to see them all together, and it was one of those things that really important to us. Oh, I love that, Mandolin. That's awesome. I love that so much. The Inheritance Cycle. Oh, oh, the Aragon series. Okay, okay. So I feel like I've seen the Aragon movie, and I think my brother read the Aragon series, but maybe I need to read it again. What's the... Um, it's it's target age group. Is it teenagers or is it like young adult? I can't remember. Let's see, Julie, good morning. Yeah, Falcor is the luck dragon, yep. Favorite book series in Dragon is the Dragon Riders of Pern. I'm not familiar with that, I'm gonna write it down. Dragon Riders of Pern. See, I love book series, especially fantasy series, so I'm down with checking out more stuff about uh, you know, fantasy dragon. Pete's dragon original animation. Yes. Yep. Falcor was a luck dragon. It has finished. Okay, cool. I might need to go watch that. Those of you who like Aragon books should try Anne McCaffrey's Dragon Riders of Pern. Christopher took a lot of inspiration from her work and they're great. Okay. All right. Season one is completed. Okay. Hi, Aaron. Let's see. Emma says, I love dragons in general. See, I started reading the first one, but didn't make it very far. My brother absolutely loves Aragon. Yeah. See, I just remember my brother reading it and he liked it. I don't know if he read all of it. The movie was a flop. Books are amazing. Okay, well then I I think I might give the books a shot. They're probably on Audible too. I should look that up. Good morning, Ronnie. Earliest movie, Pete the Magic Dragon and latest How to Train Your Dragon cartoon. Very nice. It's more later, later teen, young adult. I hear it in my, oh, you heard it in your mid twenties for the first time. Okay, Shrek had a dragon. Shrek did have a dragon. You are correct. Yeah, and didn't the donkey end up marrying the dragon? <laughs> No, nah, you're good, Ev. You are just fine. I have moments like that. Okay, so let's see. Announcements for today. New video up. Um, reviewing the water-based markers and pens. I did this video in a slightly different style. So the way I was filming my videos before is I did the entire review and then I sort of condensed it and I re-recorded the audio so it was kind of clear and concise. But I did have this one person that was like targeting all my videos and like was constantly negative. Constructive feedback is one thing, but you know, targeting, targeted, targeted, targeted anger is another. Anyway, so I removed that person. But as a whole, I got the feeling that like pre-recording it and kind of shortening everything made it seem less, what's the word? What's the word? Um, sincere? 
I suppose is the word I'm looking for. Anyway, so I did this one a little bit differently um, than uh, than that previous one. So I'll be curious to hear the feedback on that one, I'm trying to decide what kind of style I want to uh, go back on. It. But anyway, if you've been curious about the um, H2R markers and the, the new water-based felt pens, that video is up. <laughs> Desolation of smog. Merlin, right? I was waiting for Tanya. Someone's got to say Merlin. Like he's he's a he's also a good dragon. Not necessarily a good dragon, but a good dragon. Uh, but anyway, so that is the main channel announcement. Um, today we are coloring in circle portraits by Laura Rafferty. So she um, has taken a little bit of a break. She does still have images that you can download on uh on her etsy store the link for that is in the description below why is this thing not caught up this thing is like really far behind did i not hang on i want to see what the latency is oh my gosh it's normal latency oh we're not going to be able to play words on stream if i do nor i didn't set it to ultra low latency um question for you guys question for you guys how opposed would you be to restarting stream so that we can have the ultra low latency and um, and be able to play words on stream at the end? Because we're like 20 seconds behind. I forgot to switch it to the and I can't I can't change it while I'm live. That's a that's a problem. Let me know. Let me know. I know we're like 20 seconds behind. Um, before we do that, though, I'll let you know. So my idea is I saw how she kind of had the um, shaded head and I was I have this idea. I started sketching out some scales and what I want to do is color in some scales that kind of lead into her face and the side of her face. So she's kind of like a dragon. Yes. Restart. OK, I'm going to do that. Everyone hang tight. You are probably going to have to normally I can just restart it on the same stream. And if I can, I'll do that. But let's check, right? I love the words on stream. Hi, Marsha. Okay, so everybody, hang tight. We're gonna fix this because this 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 normal latency is painful. <laughs> oh, awesome, Julie. Hi, Ine. Okay, everyone, hang tight. 